This season, there are 202 players in the NFL that call Florida home. And there are 11 Steelers from the Sunshine State currently on the roster, with three of them coming from the same county. Antonio Brown, Eli Rogers, and Artie Burns grew up in Liberty City, an area known for its high levels of crime. I had a chance to sit down with the trio to talk about their upbringing and what they endured to make it to the pinnacle of their profession. Artie, we'll start with you. Being a rookie coming in, what is it like to have two other Miami-Dade County guys on the team? Uh, you know, it's a good feeling, you know, just to have people that's uh, from the same environment that you're from, you know, and uh, the same the same city that can relate to you, like a, a, a big brother to you. So you uh, go down the same path, you know, learn learn, uh, learn all the things that they was taught and then uh, just fall in, fall in real quick. Eli, how much did you know about AB growing up? Obviously, you played with Artie. Growing up? Uh, I, I didn't really know too much about him. I knew a little bit about him. You know, he was one of my favorite receivers. So, you know, uh, that's all I really knew about him, though. A.B., what does it mean to be from Miami, and what does football mean to the city? Well, it means a lot coming from Miami. Down Liberty City, where all of us from, you know, it's harsh. You know, it's a different upbringing, a rough upbringing, a lot of distraction. And uh, for us to get to this position, not only this position from Eli going to Louisville and uh, Artie going to Miami. Uh, the circumstances of family and uh, the things that we had to first to go through as teenagers uh, helped us be in this position that we're in right now. You talked about the, some of the distractions, the bad things in Miami, but Miami has the most players in the NFL. Is it something to be proud of? Absolutely. Something that we all decided of, uh, you know, Saturdays and Sundays in, in Miami. Uh, everyone's setting up tents around the football field, uh, under that tent with coolers and uh, Capri Sun, and they're looking forward to football. Do you guys talk about it, what you went through growing up in Miami and getting to this point, the, the pinnacle of, of playing football? Just talk about, you know, the, the different situations that, that's going on down in Miami, you know, right now, grateful to make it out, you know. Uh, we just always keep that understanding with us. At, uh, you know, it kind of like, you know, unite us and kind of bring us together in a way, in a sense. It's, it's hard, it's hard. So, you know, we talk about it and, you know, just uh, accept that, accept what's real and, you know, what it is. What do you guys think when you hear people talk about Miami? They think South Beach, the glitz, the glamour, the nice restaurants. What do you guys think when you hear that? <laughs> Man, cross the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> it's only like one little, like, like one fourth of the whole city, really. Like once you get on that expressway, it's only like it take you it take you straight there. So you won't really see like the like the heart of like like the true the true Miami. Do you look forward to playing there? To maybe have some family and friends who aren't able to make it to Pittsburgh to ever see you guys play in a professional game? You know, it's always a blessing. It's always uh, you know a great feeling playing in front of your family, your friends, who you grew up with, and you know this would be me and Artie first time on this stage in front of our friends and uh, family members, so you know it's an exciting feeling. Well, everyone's going to be excited. And the whole city's coming out, you know, to support us, uh, the cheer is on, and uh, that's what it's about, you know, being an example for those kids in Miami and uh, showing those uh, kids that uh, it's a way, you know, they can make it through all the uh, things that they're able to see at an early age, you know, the things that uh, we've been able to see at an early age, we still find a way to get it done, and uh, us being in this position and being able to play, coming back home to Miami, it's gonna get a lot of people excited. What's the hardest thing each of you went through in Miami? Just the just, just the decision making, you know. Uh, probably the the one of the one of the hardest hardest things. I say the same thing that with Eli, you know, uh, just making the right decision, you know, because you can make that one wrong decision and it could turn your whole journey the wrong way. I mean, we probably could tell you a million probably worse stories, but uh, you know, it's all about. Uh, us being disciplined to make the decision we made to separate ourselves from no distraction to be in the position we in right now. You know, we like a band of brothers. We go on pre-game walks and uh, just keeping each other encouraged and inspired through, through all circumstances. I know I could count on these guys. I, I know I could come to them and talk to them about anything. We've been rooted together from Miami. And uh, when he was at Louisville, you know, we were cheering for him. When Audi was at Miami, we were cheering for him. When he was going through his stuff with his family, we were rooting for him and encouraging him. And, uh, that's how we, uh, you know, we stay connected as brothers. 